All right, good afternoon guys. It is Monday and the month of August is almost over. Um, having a look out my window today, I don't know if we're gonna get much of a, a sunset. Um, it looks like it's starting to change slightly, but look, I'll probably give that, probably give that about, I don't know, probably about 10 minutes or so. I'll probably see what the sunset's like. I'll just move slightly out of the way. But uh, yeah, I hope your day's been really, really good and um, you've got lots and lots of work done today. Um, not, a, not a busy day today, which is good because we've been one staff member down since Thursday um, and the staff member will be back on Wednesday. So hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed, it's not too busy a day and we have a pretty easy day again tomorrow all right guys so i didn't vlog outside this afternoon just didn't feel like it um missed the sunset i don't know if there was much of a, a sunset whatsoever or not um but i'm really tired all of a sudden i don't know why but i am um I did wake up early again this morning um, and as you can see it's still light outside look at that how light is that so all of the birds just came over then so I'll put the window back up a bit um, yeah lovely lovely I would say it's almost bordering on spring, even though we're still uh, 20, uh, we're still three days away, well, two and a half days away till the end of winter, and spring officially starts. So looking forward to, to that, and looking forward to daylight savings when it starts. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, head home. Sorry, I'm just looking around to see what the cars are doing. Um, so I'm going to head home, have some dinner, say hello to my puppy, and uh, probably kick back and watch a little bit of TV this evening. I'm definitely having a, a very early night tonight, so I will catch up with you guys real soon. Alright guys, I'm back. So I've got a couple of things in the mail today. Unfortunately, I've opened one. I received three packages, so I've opened one. Got another one here to open in front of you. And the third one is one of my um, boxes for unboxing. So this is the new camera mount that I was telling you guys about. So I'm gonna have a quick look at this and probably try this bad boy out on the weekend. I'm really looking forward to it. So let's get it opened. Now I was under the impression that this was actually coming from China, but it actually came from right here in Australia, from Melbourne. To excuse me for a moment, my dog's going off outside. Okay, and we're back. So, I start to explain. I've got a new camera mount. So, where does it say it? All right, so, delivery instructions, photographic, sorry, photo camera mount, right there. So, let's open this up, let's have a look. Um, this was relatively cheap it was like about 15 20 dollars if that um, when I saw it on eBay it had a um, Sony video camera on it so let's, let's see Get. It's one of these boxes you sort of look at and you're like, um, hmm, does it go this way? Does it go that way? Ah, there we go. So, that's it there. Nothing, nothing special in it. And, so that's it. That's the whole mount. So, another suction on the back. Uh, So it 
it's it's actually much much bigger compared to everything else and it's falling apart on me already okay so just the corner bit came off that's fine yeah so apart from this rotating almost 180 degrees this rotates right around the 370 degrees or so actually 360 three, three, anyway, about 350 so that's pretty good and then got our camera mount right here So this was screwed. Show you guys. So this was screwed all the way right up. All right. So, so I screwed it like this, thinking, okay, this just comes off. No, it stays on there, and the camera just screws on there. Now they have photos of this with just a GoPro on it. So I'm hoping it fits this camera, and I'm going to check it out right now. All right. This mount, really, really good. In here, it's actually metal, but it's got teeth. I'll show you. I'm just playing around with it. Had this camera on there, then took it off, but they put it back on the tripod here. But yeah, so I want to screw that off. It's actually got teeth in there that actually locks down. So it's not one of these cheap ones that moves around. And the same goes in here well as you can hear so that's teeth and then in here down the bottom here can you have a listen where's the speaker and then, so this is a really good mount I'm really happy with this so I'm really looking forward to testing this out on the weekend and uh, setting the camera up. It's going to be interesting to see how it goes on the windscreen, but so I'll do that, set that up to see how it goes. So now my other new toy that I got is a Samsung wireless charging station okay. right there. So that's the port just there above my finger. That you plug your existing Samsung charger into it. So this will charge a um, Samsung Galaxy 5, I think they said, a 6, 7. So I've got the 7 edge, S7 edge. The Note 5, don't know if there was a Note 6 and the Note 7. I know the Note 7's just about out. So um, this is a genuine Samsung product. I got it off eBay, it cost me $50 to buy it. So, you know, if you're getting a new phone, um, especially like I've got the Samsung Galaxy S7, it's um, it's really worth it, it really is. <coughs> so I can just come home from work, throw it on the charge, just like that, and it'll be charged. So if you're, you know, going out on a night on the town, this charger would be perfect for you. Um, so you've been out all day, haven't charged your phone up, you know you're going to be out all night taking photos, socialising with your friends. I would highly recommend getting a wireless charger. So guys, I'm going to leave it at that for tonight. I'm going to say good night, and I'll see you.